my opinion for the best overall e-bike, the bike that I would recommend to a close friend, for a while now has been the Wired Freedom. I will say I'm not sponsored by them, some of you guys have accused me of that, but it's just my honest opinion. And when you look at the spec sheet, the price, uh, the Wired Freedom is a fantastic bike. I'm fully aware that Five Star has uh, a version, like a clone of it. So when I say Wired Freedom, uh, you can change it out for that or the Five Star version. But essentially this bike, it's 60 volts. That's one of the main selling points. It's much higher voltage than a standard e-bike. But the, the motor on the Wired Freedom, at least the latest one, it's 3,200 watts. So very powerful and very fun to ride. And you get all that for just 2,000 bucks. That's a very compelling price point. But I did come across a bike that's completely new to me. It's a little bit more expensive, but also a little bit better in some ways than the Wired Freedom. And I wanna get your opinion on whether or not this bike is now kind of the best go-to bike in this category. Because I have to say, when I first saw it, I think somebody commented on the channel about it. I looked up the specifications, the price tag, and I was shocked. So to begin with the price tag, it is a little bit more expensive at $2,000. $600 as of right now on the website. Now this is easily my biggest hesitation with the bike because for 3,000 bucks, $400 more, you could get what I'm on right now, the Mantis X. It is a different category, it doesn't have pedals, but simply in terms of what you get for the money, the Mantis X is clearly far superior. 72 volts, uh, 6,500 watts, much better suspension. It's just a fantastic product, but okay, the Billy Goat, $2,600, and just like with the Wired, we have a 60 volt battery coming in at 25 amp hours of the capacity. So high voltage, fairly high capacity. I did see that you could opt for a second battery pack to greatly extend the range, but that's gonna be an additional charge on top, of, on top of the base price. And the motor here, it's almost the same power rating as the Wired Freedom at 3000 watts. But the motor is different. This uses a direct drive hub motor versus the geared hub motor of the Wired Freedom and most other e-bikes in the market. From my experience with the geared versus direct drive hub motors, direct drive, when you give them enough power, they are extremely capable devices. The motor itself is just larger physically than the geared hub motors, and they can produce a ton of power and torque. The Billy Goat pairs that with a 50 amp controller, which is higher than the Wired Freedom. I think that's still at 40 amps. So this thing has great potential. Now, even though the Wired Freedom is my go-to e-bike pick, at least up until now, it was never perfect. Uh, two big things that I never personally really enjoyed about the Wired Freedom was the tire size. They use huge mountain bike wheels that are 26 by four inches wide, and it just makes the bike very large. If you're any shorter than me, I'm 5'10", uh, the Wired Freedom is really not for you, in my opinion. But the Billy Goat has the 20 by 4 inch wide fat tires, so you still get the benefits of having a nice wide tire, but the size is a lot more reasonable. So thus the bike is way more approachable, and it just takes up less space when it's in your garage too. And the other big difference is the seat. You can see that the Billy Goat is more of like a proper e-bike, right? The design, it's... It's clearly like an e-bike design. And the Wired Freedom is like a regular bike with batteries and a motor strapped onto it. Thus, it has a regular bike saddle, which I never found to be very comfortable. It does give you the advantage of a height adjustable seat, but the Billy Goat has a much larger and comfortable bench style seat. I've used many bikes before with this configuration and it's often way more comfortable than a bike saddle. So the Billy Goat with the wheels that are more reasonably sized, a more comfortable seat, that's a, a solid edge right there over the Wired Freedom. It's also more or less on par with the Wired Freedom in terms of the power with a 60 volt system, a 3000 watt hub motor. So I don't know, I think the Billy Goat could really potentially take the crown from the Wired Freedom and the five star as the best value e-bike money can buy right now. My only hesitation is the price tag. Again, it's $2,600, which in a vacuum is fantastic, but these things are not in a vacuum. They compete with a ton of other products, including the Mantis X. This is 3,000 bucks. I know it's a different category, but for just $400 more, 
you get like double the power. But strictly in the e-bike world against the wired freedom, this can definitely hold its own and potentially takes the advantage. I'm gonna try and reach out to this company and get the Billy Goat on this channel soon to review. Stay tuned for that, it should be a very in-depth uh, analytical video. So stay tuned for that, and in the meantime, let us know in the comments below your thoughts on these two bikes, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.